How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, I got a couple things going on today. Uh, me and Ryan just got back from a scrap run not too long ago and we picked up this little mower and that little bit bigger mower. <laughs> um, so I don't know what Ryan's real plan with this thing is. Uh, that's that's you know that's the one he claimed he wants it. Uh, didn't really have much use for it for me because well that one's just taller and uh, I only wanted one to make a mud mower. So yeah, um, I definitely think we need to hot rod this thing though. I think that would be the best thing we could do with this thing. Uh, I know he's going back and getting couple push mowers that he has he's gonna take the motor off of one of them and put it on this and get to where it can move uh, that motor uh, turns over seems like it has compression but it's not getting any spark and he doesn't even want to mess with the wiring he just wants to put a push mower uh, engine on it because this isn't even the original motor anyways and the original motor had a pull start which is what he wants and it has a little spot right here for a pull start to come through so you know he's I think he's better off just to do that rather than messing around with all that rigged up wiring. Um, we messed with it a little bit, but there was no spark, so I don't think it's even worth bothering with. He's just gonna go put a push mower on and, you know, boom, it'll be easy. We'll be able to get that one running today. Uh, just gonna put a little eight horsepower motor on it. Um, this thing, I have different plans with this. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna be making it into a mud mower. I think it's the perfect, perfect mower for it. It's, um, it's really crusty. Uh, that's expected for a mower as old as this is that's been sitting around, but the steering works. None of the cables are seized, so I'll be able to use all that stuff for, uh, you know, the uh, the other motor. Uh, the other mower is out back over there. It's just like my grandfather's Husqvarna over there. And, uh, yeah, so i got to get that pulled over here. got to pull the motor out of it, got to pull the wiring out of it, and then i got to pull this motor and rip the wiring out of this and then get everything to where it works. Um, not sure if we're gonna get it running today, but uh, definitely gonna at least try to swap the motor onto it. But yeah, uh, so I'm just waiting for Ryan to get back and then we're gonna pull that other mower over there, over here. Uh, probably gonna put it in here somewhere so it's out of the way and I'm gonna pull the motor out of it, the wiring out of it. And then I'm gonna pull that back in, pull the motor out of that and then yeah, we're gonna make some make some magic happen. I'm gonna see if I can adjust the fucking coil on that first. Yeah. Oh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan got back. He's got his push mowers here. I'm gonna take, like I said, one of the motors off of one of these and put it on that uh, little guy over there. But uh, we need to pull out the other Husqvarna out behind the Dodge over there. Gonna pull it out with the wheeler with the Shizuki. fucking bees nest was but there even is one oh yeah there is one they're fucking in there hold on let me get uh, grab that wasp spray uh, yeah I ain't screwing with no bees <laughs> they don't, oh that's so foamy I don't think they're I don't think they're gonna be flying oh yeah they were sitting right there <laughs> they're like we gonna sting you
took a piece of brick with it. Oh, a uh, that's how you tell a moa. All right, so we got this hideous, terrible, crappy wheel in here. We're uh, gonna be, oh, get your shirt hooked there. Gonna be taking the come along and uh, getting this, getting this thing in the air so uh, I can pull the deck off and uh, just make it a lot easier to pull the motor out. So uh, I gotta cut, I'm just gonna cut it because it's gonna be easier. I gotta cut these belts off. And uh, I mean the decks are easy to take off on these, right? I mean there's a pin here I see you gotta take out. Yeah, pin here and then yeah, just pop this bad boy out and then uh, work on getting the motor out of here. There's one. Two. that so I got all the pins out I still gotta cut the belt uh, I got the pins here I had a little tensioner spring I uh, removed and I got these guys here I gotta move there's one boom just like that one I gotta get the off I guess. There we go. Just gotta cut the belts. Probably should do that before it completely comes down on itself. Alright, so now that the deck is off, I just have to remove the few bolts that are here and unhook the wiring so I can pop the motor right out. So I'm gonna get right to that. Place it to the side, pull this junker out, and uh, pull the motor in the other one. I guess Ryan uh, was messing around with the original motor, and I guess he got it to have spark now, so uh, we're going to see how this goes. I went inside and made some spaghetti real quick. I still got to pull the motor off this bad boy. Let's see if she'll fire, though. Throttle. Fire this time, I believe it. Oh. <laughs> you see that flame that shot out of there? Angry. Oh man. Oh. 
We got that. We got that running. Now I need to get on pulling this motor out and putting that one in. All right, so I got the deck off. I am currently just about to pull the pulley off. I think I can use this original pulley, put it on my motor, take the pulley that's on that off. I think it'd be easier. That way I can just stay with the original belt system. It's not as crusty in here as I thought it would be, but Ryan's freaking out over there over something. But uh, yeah, I'm getting close to getting this new motor in. All right, so we got the motor out finally. Uh, I gotta clean this surface for sure because it's really crusty, really dirty. So we're having a difficult uh, time taking off the uh, the little uh, pulley. So we had to take the cover off so we can hold the top of this motor better. But we got a. Uh... Hey man, you can't take that out. There's somebody at home right there. <laughs> oh. You can't do that, oh, that's man. Bad. That's oh. <laughs> oh. No, that's. That's bad. apartment A. And that's apartment B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's all cleaned up for the most part. Um, and I got this pulley off of here. I measured the shaft. It's practically the same. It's just, it's off by a very little bit. This shaft is a little bit longer, but uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll bolt up. And I put this little uh, sleeve on here and then the keyway. So I'm just gonna pop this on and then bolt the pulley on and hopefully that all goes well. It'll be pretty much aces from here. All right, so I got the motor bolted on, got the pulley back on, everything goes on good and fit. This is all tight, belts on there. So uh, so we know it's gonna work now for sure. Um, tomorrow, I think we're gonna pick this back up and uh, kind of do the wiring, but yeah, fits right on there, no problems, bolted right up. Um, so everything's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long day. We've been at this for a what, few hours now? Yeah. Yep. But uh, just gotta lower it back down. I gotta do the, like I said, the wiring tomorrow. I'm gonna, been, been at this too long. Um, luckily, everything lined up perfectly, perfectly fine. So I know this motor runs because the mower always ran before. So uh, we're gonna have ourselves a running mower here. Uh, you know, tomorrow hopefully, if we get to it, if not the next day, real soon. But, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and uh, check out my other links in the description. Alright guys, peace.